the reason for Mississippi changing its name to Little River Band? Well, prior to uh, leaving for England, we'd had various people tell us that they felt that their name wasn't very American, and uh, we had some criticism leveled at, at us because of that. So we decided to uh, change our name mainly for that reason, and uh, you know, to be known as foremost uh, an Australian group. Well, why not name it uh, after an Australian river? Yeah, well, we had the idea of calling it Murrumbidgee. Yes. But, you know, that's a bit too obvious, I think. And has the material changed since um, you've changed the name? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Well, it has in the way that Glenn's come into the band uh, with his songs. But mm. they're, very, they're very much in the line of what Mississippi were doing anyway, and, and the distinctive vocals of, of the band are still there. Mm. Who, who's doing most of the writing uh, for the group at the minute? We split equally at the moment mm. between Graham, Beeb and myself. The scene in England, it seems very hard for, for rock groups to, to make it there, and you've certainly paid your dues in, yeah. in Twilight and I tried a couple of times, yeah. yeah. It's the best place in the world for an Australian group to break up. <laughs> it's, it's very hard for an Australian group that's had any sort of success here, as the Axiom and the Twilights did, and then get over there and and uh, find yourself, it seems like you're working to a cotton wall all the time. There's so many, so many things going on, so many groups, you know, and it takes at least a year even to get to know people in the business before you can start flogging your group around and your material and, and, your, and, your, and your work, you know. What about contacts overseas? Do you think you've established fairly good? Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of doors open for us with, with Glenn, you know, Glenn Wheatley, our manager. He's worked in, in, in L.A. for a while and I, I was in London for five years and so was Glenn for a few years. Mm -hmm. You know, we know a lot of people. How, how do you like um, being a manager after playing in Master's Apprentices? Um, well, the management side of it came pretty easy to me because uh, we were just saying uh, in, even in the old Master's days, I'm afraid uh, the management we had wasn't very good. So. Uh, I eventually found myself in that role, uh, doing most of the PR for the group. And, uh, for example, if, when we'd come to Sydney, I'd find myself here hustling up bookings for the next time we'd come back. I was just, as long as I kept four weeks ahead with the group uh, in those days, we were okay. Do you have a hand in producing records? Yes. Um, we all uh, had a hand in producing the thing. We've all had quite a lot of experience. And I was, I guess, uh, the mediator between them because um, it, with six guys in there all coming up with different ideas, we put, could get a problem where no one will ever agree. Uh, so I was the guy that was saying, well, I guess I was the, the last on the chain, saying, yes, that is good, or you know, the majority is, is right in this instance, or maybe you're not right. But I'd had a bit of experience in America as well, which helped.